you know what someone with no money has in common with someone with too much money? Living is no fun for them. So we're going back to hell one more time. Yes, hell, and the rules are brutal there. But you know how they say good rain knows the best time to fall? So get ready, as the most popular Netflix show is coming back with season 2. It's official. Recap If we use only one word to describe the whole show, that will be brutal. The whole show is on Lever that has been seen before. There is nothing even similar to Squid Game. Every episode from the first until the last puts the audience on edge and keeps the same tension. There are no ups and downs, every game is unique, brutal and bloody. The show follows the genre of a survival drama and these kinds of shows are always said to be one of the best types of all. The story starts off with a focus on Seong Ji Hun, one of them down on luck citizens, a well-meaning but very lazy guy who is living on the back of the income of his elderly mother. He's a gambler and is a divorcee who has made a habit of disappointing his young daughter. He's knee-deep in debt and yet he's still using his mother's money to feed his habit of betting. One night at the subway station, he'll meet a well-dressed gentleman who offers him to play a fairly simple childish game with a big reward. If ji Hun wins a circle, he'll get 100,000 won. But if he loses, the gentleman will slap him in return. Many rounds with failure, but he finally wins one, and he gets the money. But that's the catch. He couldn't realize that he's in a big game now. The gentleman will give him a card with a phone number and promise him that this card will be a solution to all his problems. And let's be honest, in a way, it is. And he's finally in the game. And what's the game? Well, here the players get to play a fair game under the same conditions. These people suffer from inequality and discrimination out in the world, and this is the advantage of the principle of Squid Game. None of the players would know the games ahead of time. The first game is called Red Light Green Light, a horrible twist. If a player is caught moving during the red light, will be eliminated, and the elimination means death. <laughs> By the end of the game, half of the players will be eliminated and the game is on. The point of this whole game, where human life isn't worth a penny, where you can find blood at every angle, is to entertain the VIPs, extremely rich people who are betting on the competitors. All in all, Squid Game is a terrifying nightmare. Occasionally frank sexually, the show is frequently ultra violent and throughout a dark satire of income inequality. The show woke up its viewers' twisted inner child and not just with the games, but also with the brightly colored playground. It had a huge cast list, but the story is pretty simple, and with the most parts, Huang Dong Hyuk, the writer-director, made a mix of high and low elements that works incredibly well. The show has generated an insatiable fascination, which led to a cosplay site selling out of the villain costume. <laughs> Release date Huang Dong Hyuk's Netflix show was released on 17 September last year and in just 10 days was the platform's highest ranking show in 90 countries. 95% of the viewers were outside Korea and this was the first time a Korean show was at the top of the US charts. And it was well expected that there will be more of this. Squid Game is officially returning for a second season, confirmed its creator. Talking to Associated Press, Huang Dong Hyuk said, there's been so much pressure, so much demand, and so much love for a second season. So I almost feel like you leave us no choice. But I'll say, there will indeed be a second season. It's in my head right now. I'm in the planning process currently, but I do think it's too early to say when and how that's going to happen. There are huge expectations for season 2, but there's no official release date as of yet. In November 2021, the creator announced that new episodes have been commissioned. There will be more great games. That's all that we know so far. But when, nobody knows. Given the fact that Huang Dong Hyuk just started writing, we can expect the second season to hit the theaters at the end of 2023. <laughs> cast Now, this is a tricky part. We're sure about one thing, the cast will definitely be new. Considering the nature of the show, we don't expect too many familiar faces to appear on the screen. In the first season, out of 456 contestants, all of them but one died. Anyway, Squid Game wouldn't be a Squid Game without Lee Jung Jae, the actor who played Seong Ji Hun, the main protagonist in the show. He already confirmed that he would love to play in the second season. I've received so much love and support from viewers, of course, I have to play him again if there is a season 2. But at this point, I don't know anything about how the story is going to turn out, how the characters are going to change, 
or if there are going to be any new characters added to the series. I don't know anything right now. Alongside him, the rest of the crew is up for debate. We cannot exclude the chance of their appearance in some flashbacks. One other important name that we would love to see return is Gong Yu, the star of Train to Busan, who is most recognizable to international audiences. Oh, Yong Su, Park Hae Su, and Ho Yun could potentially make a comeback as well. Plot details Seung Ji Hun won in the first games, but it seems like the horror isn't over yet. He discovered that the challenges are still continuing, but with a different team now. Well, there will always be gamblers, drunks, and others down on luck people to join the game. Anyway, we can expect that in the second season, Lee will try to become an ultimate hero and stop the game forever. One thing's for certain, this wasn't the last game, so the show could really go in that direction. Talking to the Times, Huang Dong Hyuk said, While I was writing season 1, I thought about the stories that could be in season 2 if I get to do one. One would be the story of the frontman. I think the issue with police officers is not just an issue in Korea, adding that the police are always very late on acting on things, so that could bring us to more victims and the situation could get worse. While he explained enough for the game players, we don't know a lot about how the game employees got there and why they chose to work there. So yes, the second season could explore the employees' stories more. We bet that Huang will explore a little bit more about the backstory of the old man Oh Irnam, who turns out to be a wealthy investor in the background. There's a lot more to be discovered about Irnam, like his wife and son, who he mentions during the Marbles game. And there's even one crazy theory which thinks Irnam could turn out to be Jihan's father. Since I prefer riding alone, maybe all these ideas on YouTube can function as my rider's room, or maybe I can even ask the fans on social media to give ideas, said Huang. What we expect the most is the frontman and his police officer brother story and the recruiter for the games. On a related note, Tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the expected plot? Do you think that the second season will reach its expectations? What do you think about the cast list? Which characters that haven't been mentioned should appear? And what are your suggestions? If you liked the video, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.